If you're looking for a way to suppress uh, weeds while also feeding your soil in the next crop, cover crops are the number one way to do that. So real quick, my name is Still Simmons. I help growers uh, transition to conventional farms, to regenerative farms using practices like cover crops. If you want to work with us, um, just send us an email and the link to our website is below. Let's get into it. Now, one big thing that I forgot to mention in the previous video is that cover crops have a really important um, role in suppressing weeds. And so there's really three main uh, categories that, that this falls uh, under and we'll go over that today. So the first one is that they literally suppress weeds. So the, while they're growing, if a, you know, a weed pops up here, your cover crop will suppress whatever weed that is growing there. So they'll be blocking the sunlight, they won't be coming through. Um, it'll generally outcompete um, the weed. Now this works both while the cover crop is growing, and it'll be suppressing light as it's coming through, but it will also work once we terminate the cover crop, um, either through crimping it um, or rolling it down. If that is a really thick mulch layer of, of the cover crop, a, a weed won't have a very good time trying to push through that. The, the light will be blocking, um, preventing it from getting to the, uh, the weed. And so you should be able to get pretty good, um, like a mulching effect uh, from that um, and suppress weeds that way. So the first one is literally just preventing weeds from coming up. Um, there's also an effect where, so we've got a, um, a weed seed some weed seeds germinate when they see that there's um, available light. And so if no light is getting into the top part of the soil, um, that weed seed won't be able to see that there's you know, a, a availability for it to um, grow properly if there's competition. And so that seed um, simply just won't germinate. Um, so this suppressing effect, the um, covering of the soil, and so that will suppress uh, where it's coming through, that's a big one. Another really big one is um, the alpathic effect, um, which occurs when plants like vetch and rye put out pretty much toxins to um, inhibit the growth of other plants. So these plants can be throwing out um, alpathic compounds, uh, which would prevent uh, the germination and inhibit the growth of um, weeds. And so that is our second one, uh, alpathic effect. And the final um, way that cover crops can prevent weeds from coming up is simply by creating an environment which our favourable crops or the crops that we want to grow actually can outcompete weeds. And so there's an, there's an idea that weeds are there simply because they're able to outcompete whatever you want to grow. So for example, if this soil was um, really hard to compact, Grasses probably won't have a very good you know, time growing there, but a plant with a deep taproot um, would be able to push through that um, compaction layer and access you know, um, better soil. And so that plant should outcompete whatever we're growing if it's more favorable to that condition. And so this comes back to, I guess, the idea of ecological succession. And so if we have grasses, so I'm sure everyone um, has seen this, but if you have just look at ecological success, uh, succession. But essentially, if we're, if we're trying to grow a, an annual grass, which pretty much falls kind of here, um, mark that, say here, and we have all this bare ground. Well, bare ground is at the start of ecological succession. So we've, we've gone from a spot here, which is favorable for grasses, um, and we've gone all the way back to the start of uh, ecological succession. And so what the ground and the environment will want to do is start putting these uh, plants that are low to the ground but cover a lot of it, almost like a band-aid over the ground. And so a lot of these will come up. And then from there, it'll move to like thistle plants, um, plants with uh, tap roots or um, uh, anything with a, a thistle that doesn't really want to be touched. And then that will go to uh, other grasses and then what we we probably want. What cover cropping does is instead of going all the way back to here, we simply go back to here. So we still have something growing, which means we're not going to get any of these plants, which um, are only there to cover the, the ground. We're not going to get any of the thistles, which are also um, 
serve a similar function. We're going to go back to the um, still early stages, but more of the um, covering stage of ecological succession. Now, some weeds um, that are um, almost the almost like the nitrogen regulators, which um, pick up excess nitrogen like lamb's quarter, they can still come up through this um, because that's their particular ecological function that they need to serve. So weeds, weeds are really interesting in the sense that they're not there just to smite you. They don't you know, grow just because they don't like you farming. It's they, there's a particular niche in that ecosystem that, they, that, they, that allows them to grow. And so understanding why that weed is there, what function does it serve, or why is it allowed to grow, and then coming up with solutions to prevent that so that we can grow the crops that we want to grow, um, I think is probably the best solution for weeds and, and it generates you know, better soil anyways. And so cover cropping allows for essentially this, it builds our soils to the point where we are able to grow crops um, in you know, better soil conditions. It also creates uh, cover which suppresses weed um, germination and growth um, in both the growing stage and the termination stage, which forms this really nice mulch. Um, and that mulch can be there for up to a month, like 30 days to 40 days before it starts really um, uh, breaking down. And so if we have that mulch there while our plants are um, establishing, and the way that pretty much works is that if we come along with our um, cedar and that slices a, a, a section in that mulch and then we plant our seed that seed will be able to come up and then hopefully have a bit of cover before um, the weeds start start growing and so if you time it properly we should have uh, mostly full cover by the time um, all, all the um, cover crop decomposes um, and that will help to suppress weeds so we have it. there are the three ways that cover crops can suppress weeds. If you're looking for a way to suppress uh, weeds while also feeding your soil in the next crop, cover crops are the number one way to do that. And so this works really well in a uh, organic no-till um, uh, enterprise where we don't have um, say herbicides to, to kill um, weeds. But also if you just want to spend less money on herbicides uh, and fertilizer as well, then using cover crops to supply that uh, nutrition to your uh, cash crop is a really good option to uh, check into. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, cheers.